Hello, Giovanni, and thank you for joining our Tech Fact. Hi, and uh, this is a very pleasure for me to uh, uh, be there. Be here, here. Definitely, it's also a huge pleasure for me, you to be my guest in the new format. So Giovanni, you're an artist and you're also physical and a digital artist. What yes. else would you like to share with me? Who is Giovanni Motta? <laughs> I am uh, a father of uh, two sons and uh, I am uh, enthusiastic of life and a lover of the, the nature. And um, for me, the important, for me, art is um, a very big part of my life. And so the very important thing for me is uh, only to my family and uh, my art. Great, great. It's, it's a huge uh, pleasure to be talking to such a professionalist who is also dedicating so much time on uh, nature and family. So it's a very good, work-life balance, I would say. And maybe you're gathering also lots of inspirations from the people around you, which is wonderful. Do you remember the day and um, the period when you have started creating art? And could you share more information about this time with me? When did you start? Uh, yes, uh, I but I always uh, was uh, a creative. When I remember when I was younger, um, five six years old, I uh, just created uh, illustration, uh, mini video, and um, I am I was very creative child. And then uh, uh, my, my, my mother is a teacher of art. And so in uh, my house, there was uh, many books uh, that uh, I saw for uh, um, improve my passion. And um, I, I think uh, that uh, art uh, always was in, in me. But my family, I don't know why, um, didn't believe me and in my in my art. And so, so um, my father wanted they wanted that I studied in a financial and economic school. And so I I I studied. I studied in a technical institute. And uh, then uh, when I finished uh, the school, I go for my street, for my, my way, and uh, I started to make uh, artists. But if art uh, not enough for my sustain, I worked as a creative director for ADV and uh, brand and uh, um, publishing advertising, pub advertising companies. Sounds very interesting. So at the end, you have uh, proven the opposite, that you're a very good artist, because also you, you have, uh, let's say, realized two, two wishes, your wish and your father's wish, because right now you're selling art in a very interesting, let's say, financial asset. Uh, which uh, are namely the cryptocurrencies, because you are also a digital artist, correct? So you have started. Creating. Yes, I, I am digital artist and a physical artist. Okay. Because I am in re in reality, uh, I am a painter. Yeah, in, and in virtual reality, you are both in the physical reality. Yes. And in the virtual reality, you're yes. everywhere painter, end to end, 360 degrees, you're a painter. Yes. Very good, very good. Thank you, uh, Giovanni. And what are the platforms you're minting art on, typically? Do you use any, like, my, my, or, or here I see another one? Uh, I work uh, with Super Rare. Okay, Super, super. Uh, So exclusively. 
Okay. But, uh, but in the future, I think that uh, I will uh, work with other marketplace because uh, I want to explore other uh, situation and uh, other um, experience. And uh, I believe that uh, is uh, right uh, to try other, other marketplace. There is a marketplace, new Italian marketplace called Nympha. I think that this is a very good guy, and uh, I um, I like to think uh, um, to collaborate with us with 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 they. Okay, uh, very good. A nympho. I, I'm going to to check them. Very yes. N e n e n f a. Okay, very good. Thank you for this information. Uh, definitely, I, I was not aware about the existence of this new platform. I'm curious and we'll check it. And uh, meanwhile, I wanted to ask you about uh, this little boy. Who is he? Because I see him also on your Twitter profile and everywhere, uh, basically on your art. Johnny what? Boy. Johnny Boy. <laughs> Who is Johnny Boy? <laughs> Johnny Boy is... Um... A, a, a metaphor of the inner child because uh, mm -hmm. my artistic uh, research is uh, focused on uh, redis re rediscovering of uh, the inner child uh, with the recover of uh, emotional memories and uh, this um, is a, a character design in cartoon style and uh, um, Johnny is uh, 12 or uh, or, uh, or 12 is 12 uh, his age is 12 Excellent. and uh, Johnny boy is uh, my a, a one of the items one of the the items that I use for uh, make art because the other subject is objects Johnny Boy and objects are always present in my 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 artworks. Johnny Boy, and is this something that is connected with your childhood in particular, or there are different story and your imagination is also capturing other people's stories. Is Johnny Boy your story or also other people's stories? Uh, um, Johnny Boy is uh, uh, Johnny Boy uh, is a, 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 in an image that I use for permit to viewer. Uh, to uh, create con a, a contact with uh, their inner, inner child. Okay. Obviously, obviously that uh, in my artworks, there are um, objects and elements that uh, are um, inspired from my life. But Johnny Boy is uh, uh, the, the child of, of, uh, of ever, not I. I am not Johnny. Johnny is uh, the child of all. Johnny is in everyone and every everybody yes, Johnny yes. and uh, Johnny okay everyone. okay exactly. okay it's applicable for each and every everybody every single person on the earth can associate him or herself with Johnny boy. If you if you look with attention you can see that Johnny boy hasn't uh, ISIS. And uh, this is a, a particularity very important for me. And uh, if you look, if you look uh, Johnny and his gaze um, transfer free typology, free kind of expression, one positive, one negative, uh, one neutral. The positive expression is like uh, wonderful. The negative expression is a uh, uh, fear, and the neutral ex expression is uh, uh, awesome because you can uh, hour for an incredible car accident than for a marvelous sunset. 
with this uh, expression, the viewer can use uh, my painting as a mirror and uh, refl that reflect his soul. And uh, for this is, uh, this is that I want that, this is that uh, I desire that uh, that happened, but I don't know. And so if uh, if um, a viewer want, can uh, use this painting as a mirror and uh, 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 to try to find his inner child. Right. Very interesting. Very interesting that you're capturing so different emotions and different situations and you are trying not to categorize them, but you have an exit, the three exit points. And also with the fact he, here we are missing the eyes of uh, our hero and mascot, or the, the uh, un, unified uh, hero that is applicable for each and every single person on earth. It is definitely very interesting. Thanks for sharing this information, Giovanni, with me. And I'm curious to know what kind of software are you using to create your digital art? I use uh, Photoshop for uh, graphic design and uh, Cinema 4D for an, uh, digital animation. Interesting. And, and, and Maya and uh, Maya. other software that I used uh, that I use. Uh, is Maya. I don't know about it. I'm going to check it. Interesting. And what about your physical art? Uh, does it mean that each digital Johnny boy, like for example, the fate of the bridge, does it have the same physical art or how, how does it work? Is it paired in the physical world with something? In particular, this artwork uh, is uh, uh, both uh, is a painting and is a still image uh -huh. but uh, in the painting there are uh, some different that you can see when you when you look uh, the the artwork uh, near very near yeah and where can i have seen on uh, your website that you have had several exhibitions uh, of course after so many years, but uh, where uh, can uh, your art be seen? It, is it mainly in Italy, Milan, Venice, Trento, Rome? No, my old, my last exhibition is in uh, Shanghai, where is uh, the mm -hmm. my art gallery and my principal market. And now in November, uh, there are there is another uh, solo exhibition uh always in this uh, art gallery and um, so i prefer works with other country and not in italy because in italy uh, don't understand very well my work oh uh, why i, I don't know <laughs> okay no, because i'm left with the impression uh, at least i'm following you on twitter this is how i know about you uh, and I see you are um, having uh, lots of uh, fans and people are liking your art. And uh, also I see lots of people from Italy who are appreciating and are valuing your artifact. So I don't know, for me, Italy has been always the place uh, for art. And I, I assume for the majority of people in Europe, Italy is but, the uh, okay, do, do you think that Italy is the most important place uh, of uh, ex expo expose art? This is the question. If I think, whatever I think, if it's going to bring value or it's going to influence someone's decision, I don't think so. But I think that, uh, I think that in the past, uh, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, Italy was uh, an excellent uh, in uh, many field, many fields, many situation, and uh, also in art. Now, I think that uh, Italy is uh, uh, attached uh, to the past, uh, to the glory of the past. 
And um, now the situation for me is not so good and I prefer um, uh, work with uh, uh, international gallery and uh, international events and uh, in Italy, yes, but only if uh, the um, situation is, is very good for me. Then there are in Italy um, some ga art galleries, uh, some very, very good art galleries, but uh, you can count uh, in uh, 10, 15 art galleries for me. This is my, my um, idea. And I think that, that the mentality uh, in Italy um, is uh, so closed. And uh, in fact, uh, digital art in Italy is not um, very considered, but in the um, other part of the world, digital art is very important and very cool. Like, for example, it, more in Asia, you like mean, in or... England, in England, in okay. Japan, in, in, in the USA. Right. Right. So definitely right now, uh, the digital art, especially with these uh, NFTs and with the technology, uh, people who do not understand it are, let's say they are fearing it. And when you fear something uh, that you don't know, uh, typically you tend to reject it and to say no. So um, for me, this is the reason, but step by step, we're going in that direction. I think we, at some point, people will start accepting this as a, as a real art because the, the time you spend to create something digitally cannot be devalued. This is your time. You spend it to create it. I'm not talking about the software that creates, uh, that generates automatically artifact like uh, mid journey yes, yes. no yes I, I i don't understand very well your question in reality we are what... no we are we are just discussing because you have mentioned that italy is not right now a place where yes. uh, people appreciate very much or let's say not appreciate but it's not that attractive for art compared to other places like no, for for digital art for digital art Correct, for digital art. So, um, good, good to know. And uh, you have found your path and you're looking for other alternative uh, journeys like you are doing in Shanghai and your other uh, galleries. What about uh, this? Uh, this is a physical one, Johnny Boy, Love Again, Cuore Rosso. Like yes, yes, this is... Uh... Uh, these are uh, sculpture sculptures of, or of Johnny Boy, and uh, there are many measures. Mm -hmm. um, and I realized this with 3D printing, and uh -huh. uh, I love I love this uh, I love this this technology, right. and uh, mm, for me is a joke. Uh, when I see if in the the first time. Uh, um, when uh, 3D printing, I was in uh, USA, in uh, Los Angeles. Uh, if I remember, it was uh, um, 2010. 2010. Okay. And mm -hmm. uh, I bought uh, a, this uh, 3D printer. And when, I, when it uh, arrived in Italy, for me, it was an um, incredible toy to use to realize my sculptures and my art. And now I use also these, I, I still, I use, I still use this technology for realize all my sculpture. But I realize also, also in bronze or uh, fiber resin, but the little sculptures are made in uh, 3D, with 3D printer. Very interesting. Yes, I have uh, played a little with one 3D printer some time ago, but for very basic small parts. And I see that some people are, not some, but lots of people are creating uh, like samples for uh, 
creating bigger figures like yes, connecting I, them small I, pieces. Mm -hmm. I created uh, also two version of Johnny Boy, very big, two meters and uh, three meters in wow. bronze one and in fiberglass uh, the other. And where are they? In uh, in um, China. Hmm. Very interesting. Maybe maybe if, uh, you have some photos on your Twitter. Yes. Very good. So uh, no 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 no. There isn't. There isn't. You can see, I don't remember on my website. Uh, can, you can go, I, 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 there isn't on web, my website, this photo. Okay, maybe on your Instagram. Uh, I, I think, so, yes. Yes, I'm going to check afterwards also. Thank you, thank you, Giovanni. It's uh, very interesting uh, the art that you're creating and uh, you're one of the first in Italy and in general in the world, maybe. No, 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 in the no. world, no, but in, the it in Italy, yes. Uh, I am uh, one of the first artists that uh, enter in this uh, fabulous world of NFT art. Right, it's a huge pleasure. Thank you once again. It's definitely a uh, very great honor to be talking uh, to you thank you and, thank you thank you too thank you. thank you very much so i will keep uh, looking at uh, your art and every single new release that you are posting on social media and i will be happy in the future when you have new projects maybe we to have other conversations when you'd like to uh, whenever you'd like to share more details about your future project. Yes, uh, uh, now in November I will. Uh, I will. Uh, there is this uh, exhibition in China. In January, I. Um, uh, the, in January there is in mail in Milan, in Milano, another exposition with. Uh, um, a new marketplace and uh, this exposition is a me in is a stay in middle uh, um, in middle um, digital art and physical because i will expose uh, a painting and uh, nft and uh, in relation and then uh, some uh, sketches uh, preparatory sketches then in um, may no, in February, uh, in, I mm, the new num the second number of my manga is uh, um, started. No, uh, the second uh, the second number of, of my, my manga Metaborg is uh, ready to go, and uh, in May. Uh, I have another exposition on it only digital uh, exposition in London at uh, W1 curated. Right, and I haven't asked you about the Metaborg. Uh, what is Metaborg? Is like a comics. Yes, like a comics. Metaborg is uh, the first uh, NFT manga made in Italy. Okay, it's an experiment for me, a way to expand my artistic research. Uh, I may imagine it, uh, imagined a world where adult human beings are all dead. Only male uh, children and a little girl, a warrior goddess, survived. These uh, children have divided into neighborhood gangs, and uh, their only purpose is uh, to train so that they can fight and prove themselves the strongest. They, do, they all want to compete, but there is only the tournament in which they uh, all want to participate, the Metaborg. Johnny Boy is the main character, along with him, 31 other warriors, all gang leaders, strong warriors, will compete to determine who is the strongest fighter in the world. The manga is very violent and uh, aims to explore the true nature of human beings 
and uh, all these warriors are actually very well known people in the crypto world artists collector art critics uh, who i made children again i interviewed i interviewed them and they told me a lot about their childhood and their past this is metabol very interesting very interesting and uh is this a secret the names of the the people who are corresponding to each uh, actor and hero part? no you, you the name is uh, is uh, uh, known oh, okay uh, it's public you can you can see them uh, in uh, the in the prof twitter profile of metaborg and you uh, understand that uh, this is uh, so uh, the clapis dangerous uh, siconolfi all artists crypto famous artists crypto crypto okay. or famous collectors you can see um, mm. easily right so i'm going uh, definitely to spend some time uh, and understanding more about uh, uh, metaborg and i assume it is uh fully sold everything has been already sold from nft perspective uh, uh i i don't understand sorry uh, you did you sell the collection everything did you sell it or there are still uh or it's in production you are still creating co new comics and you are selling them like nfts or how it's yeah. working? yes yes only NF okay. nft i realized the physical work uh, of metaborg a physical manga of metal but only um uh, 100 copies i don't remember mm -hmm. now only for friends only for uh, lovers very very lovers <laughs> very good okay okay giovanni uh once again thank you very much for spending this time with me and explaining me so many interesting details about um, your art and your journey as an artist. I wish you uh, lots of successes, even bigger than those that you have achieved so far. And keep creating. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Lea. Thank you. Thank bye you. Bye-bye.